Have you ever wondered what the difference between a $20 and a $200 torque wrench really is? Are the more expensive wrenches more accurate than the cheaper ones? Well, we'd like to know too. So we've gathered up some examples to check with our Intercomp digital torque wrench tester and see how their accuracy compares to one another. So come with us as we find out. If you watch the LS 5.0 short block assembly video, you know that we like to check the calibration of our tools before we use them. But to have faith in those checks, we need to know that the checker itself is calibrated. We went over this in our Tool of the Month article on the Intercomp Digital Torque Wrench Tester, which I'll link to below, but here's a quick recap. At the factory, the tester is calibrated using a dead weight method, which uses NIST certified weights hung from a fixed length arm to calibrate the strain gauges in the tester. That calibration certificate is included with the tester and the unit's calibration can be recertified at the factory in the future. Our tester is within calibration, which is significantly more accurate than the advertised ranges of the tools we'll be testing. So the Intercop tester has our complete trust in this test. We'll be using one of these calibration sheets we drew up to record our tests at various torque values. We'll then compare actual differences between the wrenches along with where each wrench falls within the advertised tolerance range. The first step in this test is to bolt our tester to a stable base. For us, that's our workbench that we've sunk machine screw adapters into. The first wrench going on the tester is the Craftsman CMMT 99434. This is a 20 to 250 pound foot wrench that retails for about $100, but we got it on sale at Lowe's for 59 bucks. I mostly use it to tighten crank bolts because of all the leverage it provides. As you can see, it's quite consistent and falls within the advertised 4% tolerance. Next up is a newer Pittsburgh Pro half-inch drive torque wrench, model 62431. This one actually replaced a bad out-of-the-box wrench in a pinch a few years ago. It has a noticeably different feel to it when it clicks, and it's almost hollow. As you can see, its lack of consistency is what hurts its scores, with only the 80 pound foot test falling within the advertised 4% tolerance. To be fair, this wrench cost us $9. Next up, we have another Pittsburgh Pro, but this time an older 3 8 drive model. As it's a 3 8 drive, its torque range is slightly lower than the rest of the half drive wrenches in this test. This wrench genuinely feels nice to use, and the numbers show a surprisingly impressive result. I'd trust this wrench on any project with results like these. This torque wrench is the oldest in the shop. Another $9 Pittsburgh wrench I've had it in my toolbox for more than 15 years. But because of the brand, I've never fully trusted it for more than wheels or things with huge tolerances. After this test, I feel like I always recall. Now we're moving from clicks to digital. This is the Pittsburgh Pro 68283 half inch digital torque adapter. It fits between a half inch drive ratchet or breaker bar and a half inch drive socket. This thing was cheap, but it seems to punch way above its weight class as far as accuracy. I do have to say though, it's kind of a pain to use. It's hard to see while using it and resetting it to zero takes a significant amount of time. But if you want digital accuracy and don't want to spend a lot of money, this might be the answer for you. 
except that this model has been discontinued. Finally, we have my main workhorse when it comes to engine assembly, the Eastwood half inch digital electronic torque angle wrench. This wrench was the first time I spent decent money on a wrench at around $175 and it's never let me down. It's easy to use, accurate, and it has a decent amount of length to help make those big pulls a little easier. Unfortunately, like the Pittsburgh Pro Torque Adapter, this wrench is also discontinued. Now, you might think all this is overkill, but it's important enough that ARP actually uses this exact torque wrench tester on its event trailers. There, you can have them check your wrenches for you by simply bringing them to the trailer at the event. That's not a gimmick to get you into their trailer, but a service they feel is important to offer their customers, because the results of an inaccurate torque wrench can be catastrophic. As you can see, these wrenches run the gamut from cheapest to decently priced. We have micrometer style click wrenches, digital wrenches, and even digital adapters here today. We haven't managed to add any split beam torque wrenches to the collection yet, but they're coming for sure. So while the prices are all over the place in this test, I think the results should make you feel okay about using a cheaper wrench, while still proving that spending more does tend to get you a nicer tool. Where the differences seem to lie are in the features and ease of use of the tool. While the very inexpensive digital torque adapter has results quite similar to our Eastwood digital torque wrench, the Eastwood wrench is far easier to use and has more features than the Pittsburgh Torque Adapter does. However, we have to point out that the Pittsburgh Pro wrench that was outside of the tolerance range replaced another of the same wrench that was broken and killed a rear end housing stud on us. Maybe it was just a bad batch, but you probably won't find a bad batch of snap-on torque wrenches making it to customers. As an interesting aside, the out of tolerance wrench has a completely different feel to it than the two Pittsburgh click wrenches that were well within spec. At the end of the day, you have to trust your measuring tools. To do that, you need to verify their calibration. Sure, a lot of tools come with calibration certificates from the factory, but tools don't always hold their calibrations forever, especially with hard use. If you're using a torque wrench daily, you should probably have a tester of your own, or at the very least, send your wrenches out to be calibrated on an annual basis. If either of these options seems like too much effort or expense, you can always stop by ARP's trailer at the next event you're at and have them check your wrench for you. It's a little extra peace of mind to know that your fasteners are actually torqued where you want them. Oh, and by the way, if you want to snag some cool Engine Labs merch like this, head on over to our merch store via the tab on our website. It's up and running with some cool new designs. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the good stuff we're posting here on Engine Labs. I'll catch you in the next one.